Oh yeah, there it is. There's the seal flipper. I'm gonna put this back out in the shade. I'd rather keep stuff frozen outdoors than actually put in the freezer in the house. You know, unless it miles up a lot or something, you have to, I'll keep it frozen outdoors. And I'll find a way better that way. This right here is the flipper. And this right here is the shoulder. Now, some people cut the flipper part off and still call this the flipper, but we call this the shoulder and this right here the flipper. And the flipper still got the skin in, so I'm going to skin him back now when it ties a little more and then join the line the knuckles there. And uh, this may not look very appetizing at the moment, but I tell you, when you know how to clean this up and what it will become, you drool when you look at stuff like this. Now, the shoulder is still. Uh, Still froze a bit, but the flipper is tied pretty good. So I'm going to show you how we clean up uh, this flipper. And see, this is where the this is the skin right here. And let me just grab the skin. Let me just skin it back. And the fat here, like, is a different type of fat. So it's not it almost like a crystal. And when you fry it out, oh, it goes ever so tasty. And just skin it back. Just grab it on this side. Just skip it back. Just work Right there, it's a joint here. Now, this is the last joint here, right there, and this is where I want to get to. So, I'm going to join them from there, 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 like that line there. That's the first one, the second one, third one, fourth one. This one is right there. Now all left there is pretty much just the, the claws. And this is what we were after right here. Uh, it still froze there a bit, but this is my Now, like I said, it's like a different kind of fat there on the flipper itself, but the fat inside it trims off. I don't want to have too much of that left down there. It trims off some of that fat back, back behind. This is a joint right there. Now, that's the shoulder piece, and this right here is the flipper. Now back behind, I'm going to trim this up here. Let's grab that thing. Yeah. Right. You know, some people say, you know, there's a lot of mercury in seal meat, but if there's mercury going to be in seal meat, it's going to be in the fat. And so if you trim off the fat, you're going to have uh, nice, lean, healthy meat. You see, I took a bit of fat off that was down right here. There's another just a little tiny bit there. But... Now you see how that's nice and clean there. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to trim off a bit of this fat here as well. You know, uh, I like having my seal me trimmed up really nice. Find uh, with fat on the seal meat is uh, if I leave a lot of fat on the seal meat, I gotta eat all that seal that one meal. Uh, there's no good leftover. And I like leftover seal, so I used to trim it up nice. 
And that way, when I cook it, I'll end up with two meals. And now, just a couple of joints around that joint right here now. Here, open the roaster just like that. Well, guys, right here I got uh, a couple of seal flippers, and I was actually going to have these yesterday, but I couldn't find them in the freezer there. That's where I had them put to. But uh, little did I know that the wife actually had them moved to the freezer in the in the house. just uh, brought the, the flippers in the house here and just washed them over and now I got them in a the dipper with a bit of water and I'm gonna parboil them with just a bit of salt and pepper in the water for about I don't know 15 20 minutes or so I'm starting to boil and I'm turn the heat back there a little bit all right I got the, the burner turned off there now and I must say, you know, they uh, they smell a lot better than they look. <laughs> and I don't have near four here. See how this is going to work out here. All right, now I'm just going to put them over in this pan here. salt and pepper and now that they're in the pan I can put a bit of salt and pepper around them again and now I'm just gonna pop them right in the oven. I got the oven on uh, 400 Well guys, dinner is served. <laughs> Just join up here a little bit, try to plate it so it looks a little better. <laughs> cooked a couple just for a snack I'm not overly hungry right now so, so it's more about the flavor than you know having a, having a big meal don't look too quite as bad as that <laughs> first we parboiled them with a bit of hot too with a bit of salt and pepper and then we roasted them in the oven with a bit of salt and pepper on them as well and that looked like it was a lot of fat on them, but that's not actually fat, it's more or a different type of fat, it's more like a, a crystal or something there. Yeah. Mmm. That is really tasty. Mmm. Well, like I mentioned, and you've seen me doing videos before, uh, normally I would uh, fry these a little bit, bit and then add more seal to the pot. Just cook them along with seal meat, but they're really good roasted and they're only like this as well. And I don't taste like the fat that's on the rest of the seal. Mmm.
so tasty. A real treat. Even though, you know, there's not a whole lot to them, what is there is very rich. Mmm. And seal, you know, is loaded with omega trees, so. Really good for you. Gosh, this. Mmm. So yummy. Well, guys, you know, a lot of people cook the, the shoulder of the seal and they call that the flipper. They make like a flipper pie. But uh, for me, the flipper is the actual flipper, <laughs> the last piece out. I'm going to tell you, they are tasty. Some heat at first. Well, anyway, guys, I guess that's it for this one, though. I uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land.